morning everyone welcome to the channel again it's been a while uh, today episode 4 of e-bike versus normal bike oh no assist versus a full assist whichever way you want to look at it but uh, today I'm doing miles and distance and climbs so basically it's on my training route. I've never done it with not, without any assist as well, so this will be interesting. What I'm going to do is about 20 miles, no assist, and then put the full assist on and do it again and see what the timings are and how I feel after doing it. <clears throat> now, what you've got to remember as well is when I haven't got no assist, I've got to like not go full out to start and lose all my energy because I've got a lot of climbs near the end of it. So I need to save my energy there, so I can't just go flying when I've got no assist like now. I've got to try and control my energy, but bah. But when I've got the full assist on, on the next lap, you'll see me going a lot faster because I know I can get around with the full assist on and it'll help me on the climbs. That's another big difference with an e-bike. Yeah, so another beautiful day. It's really cold though, so that's why the fleece is out. But let's see how we get on. I'm just at the first checkpoint now. So let's see how I'm getting on. Yeah, so I'm just coming up to my first checkpoint. I'll uh, give it an update in a minute. It's going well. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, obviously, with the no assist. It's obviously, trying to get a good time. So I know I'll probably get a good time when I've got full assist because just you just can go. You know you're going to get through it. The e bikes can get through, get through it. So let's see. So I'm at my first checkpoint, uh, obviously I'm going to stop at every checkpoint so I don't waste time but at the minute, I don't know if you can see that If you can't, if you can't see that, I'm on 29 minutes and I've done 5.5 miles so far so let's see how I get on I'm going to do it on the, with a full assist on in a bit Right, to the next checkpoint, let's go I've got my first climb of the day. I've never done this without assist, so it's interesting. Too bad. Extra fitness has worked. Next big climb, my training route starts here. So checkpoint two guys, let's have a look, see how far I'm doing. So I've stopped it. At the moment I'm 55 minutes in and done 10.5 miles. Now that seems slow to me. I probably can do it quicker with the assist on, but I've just done two of my biggest climbs. I'm at the top of the second one now. So, and I felt, I couldn't believe how fit I am, I really can't, I mean, you know, no problem, I thought. Uh, another thing, message I got off Jason Harrison, Harris, I think it was, last night, he said about uh, this, uh, when you've got no assist on, if it's totally switched off, you get a tiny little bit more resistance if you've got 
the battery switched on but no assist so today I've obviously got done that and it is so I've got it on obviously white which says no assist means no assist and uh, he's right it does feel a little bit just tiny little bit a bit more freer when it's on but no assist rather than totally switched off so thanks for that and uh, the only thing is when it's switched on even though I'm not using no assist I don't know if you can see that I'm at 99% I've used 1% of battery now, I just think because that's in standby mode it's just using it but like I say I've done 10 and a bit miles and 1% so if I did switch it on but no it didn't use any assist I've still got a I've still basically uh you know I could do 100 odd miles it's still only gonna be it's gonna still go down 90% isn't it so it's uh no drama but anyway this is the second checkpoint a bit a bit of a downhill now so uh on to the next checkpoint see you there Right, so that's it guys no assist used 1 hour 35 18.2 miles average 11.46 maximum 32 feet of climbing 951 1000 descent calories burnt 1400 I don't know if that's right but seems too much but anyways that's it, now let's get on to the full assist lap. Just a quick one, obviously it's 99%, so it's what use 1% in the standby mode. So it's not too bad, obviously that was just, must be just because it's in standby mode, the power's still running, but there's no assist going through the motor. So anyways, let's get on. Right, so that first checkpoint on full assist, 22 minutes, 24, 5.57 miles. So I'll try and put somewhere over there the uh, first checkpoint on no assist times. But I think that's obviously a little bit quicker. I've obviously used, I'm down to 87%, so I've used 12% of battery, obviously because it was 99 when I started, so... So uh, not too bad. The biggest difference is uh, obviously I can I can just fly. I know I've got the energy. I don't have to worry about saving myself for the hills. Anyways, next checkpoint. Right. Checkpoint two on the full assist. Let's see how we're doing. So I'm at 42 minutes 29, which I think is a hell of a lot faster. 
but I'll show you on the screen uh, and distance 10.6 miles and uh, I'm down at 71% assist left so and I've just done my two big climbs like I said on my tr this training route so I'm doing all right the biggest difference I find not only about time is you know you can just push yourself because you know you've got that assist for the hill so even on the flat you're just going flying you're not reserving your energy for the climbs you're just going for it and uh, that's the biggest thing I find with an e-bike so even if you you don't need an e-bike you fit maybe get one so you can do rides faster you know what I mean you can still do the same fitness but you can do them faster if you want if you're limited to time and you've got an hour training or so you could probably double your miles but still get the same benefit uh, with an e-bike so it's really good and obviously the radar is really good and all I'm gonna put some footage in into the video as well uh, double decker bus come really close so I'll try and put that in if it's recorded uh, so anyways going well let's finish it off and see how we get on <laughs> Finally on. Let's have a look, see what we got on. 1 minute 12.36, 18.3 miles. Averaging 15 miles per hour. Maximum 36. 928 feet climbing. Yeah, so it's a lot quicker than that. I'll put the times on the screen from the first one. But yeah, as you can see, you know, the assist does benefit you and it does feel a lot easier as well and you can go faster. So, all around, and obviously I've got 45% assist left. So, I was timing the full ride on me. On my watch. So I'll just uh, get that for you for the full ride. Yeah, so 3 hours 13 minutes, 37 miles 31, and the full overall average was 11 miles per hour. So, yeah, good ride. Uh, doing well. Please subscribe and like these videos if uh, you like that sort of thing. Like the video at least, and then try and get it out there. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with my fitness and all. I'll give you an update on my fitness and all in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I lost some more weight as well, so that's going well. Uh, the bike's still going, brilliant, still loving it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hope this gives some sort of uh, feeling of what the bike's like and that you can use it without using assist, as well as obviously it gives you that effort. Like I said, I've got 45% left. I've done 36 miles, so you probably could get, if you 
using a bit of assist and not assist, you probably get another 36 miles out of you know out your ride. So you, you could probably get in about 80 miles once you get to that fitness. What I have over 12 months, you know, I couldn't even get 25 miles on full assist when I first started. So it's going well. Uh, yeah. Obviously, the di biggest difference I found when I when I was no assist, I, I, was, I had to change down to the lower cog at the front quite a few times, especially on the hills. But on the full assist ride, it was on the big cog all the full ride. I never changed it off the full cog, so and I never got to the maximum low gear 34. So on both rides, I never used that. So that's good. So other than that, brilliant. And thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.